Hi everyone. My name is Corey and my brand is Car. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the sound instruments that I use for the sound healing, the sound massages, and I guess the instruments that I also use when I practice yoga, depending on the style that I'm teaching. Um, just so you get a bit of an idea of what that means, because some people are like, okay, they've heard of sound baths, they've heard of sound healing, sound massage, but what is that exactly? So this is an opportunity for you to hear about how I use these instruments and what's important to me. So as you can see, I have a whole variety of instruments here and I have many more, but this is kind of my main selection. So I have these beautiful crystal singing bowls. I have Tibetan bowls, which are just beautiful in the way they sound. And I also have other instruments that I've used, but these are the main ones. And sound is known to help with managing stress, to help with anxiety. The different vibrations that each instrument offers actually have an effect on different parts of the body. And that's what I find is so wonderful about using these instruments, whether it's in a yoga class as part of a meditation, perhaps maybe with a yin yoga class, for example, or a nidra, or whether it's an actual sound bath where you just lie back, close your eyes and enjoy the beautiful sound of these bowls. So it's something that's really powerful that I really love practicing on others and also for myself. I, of course, also do sound massage. So that's where I use the singing bowls and I generally would place them on your different points. It's quite nice to have them on your different chakras, for example, the seven chakras that we have and to feel those beautiful vibrations really kind of almost on skin on your body. So that's certainly one part of the um, the, the, the sound massage. So yes, what's important to know is if you go to a sound bath, this would be done usually lying down with your eyes closed, really cozy with a blanket and a cushion. I usually would have some candles on and all you have to do is just listen to the beautiful sounds of the different instruments or the different singing bowls. If you have a um, sound massage, this is usually done lying down as well. And I like to place the Tibetan bowls on your body, but this can also just be done obviously without touch. So not on your body and perhaps just around you. So you get a really beautiful effect of the vibrations. Um, and then I use it a lot in my classes. I often use instruments in my classes because I just find that they're really well with meditation. So that's where you'll see me using these instruments. So just to give you an idea of what they sound like, do excuse my cat, he's getting really involved. I'm just going to play my crystal singing bowls for a moment and then move on to the Tibetan bowls, just so you can have an idea of what they sound like. Um, so yes, enjoy.
So that was the singing bowls. So you could hear the crystal singing bowls. And as you can hear, they have different sounds. And I was using different techniques there as well to get different vibrations out of the bowls. And each of the bowls that I had, had a different um, tone. And often I will use ones that are very much linked with the chakras that we have. And so they, again, as I said, they have a different effect on the body in different ways, which is what's so wonderful about singing bowls. So if I come to my Tibetan bowls, I'm just going to come to my big one here. And just give you an idea what that sounds like. So that is just a mini taster on what singing bowls sound like, what you can expect, and I guess just being aware of what effect it can have on you. And uh, I definitely think it's a wonderful thing to do. It's a lovely thing to do if you're feeling a little bit imbalanced or not very grounded or maybe a bit stressed or a bit overwhelmed, it's wonderful to just take that time out, whether it's one-to-one -one or within a group sound bath, just to be, find stillness, listen to the sound, feel the vibrations and just be. So yes, thank you for watching. I hope this gave you a little taster of what um, these different singing bowls sound like, what to expect if you were to join me for a sound bath, or part of a yoga class kind of sound meditation or obviously a one-on-one -on -one sound massage. Thank you very much. Much love and light from me, Corey from Koa.